Hi folks, my name is Travis White with Pro-Am Marine and today what I'm going to show you how to do is upgrade a 12 volt Tarova trolling motor so that we can add the Pro-Nav Angler GPS. Here's a quick look at the tools we're going to need today. I've got a corded drill with a 3 16 inch bit. We're going to drill two holes today using a provided template. I've got a zip tie. I've got a small bungee cord. I've got a pair of wire snips a Phillips screwdriver, and a piece of heat shrink. Provided in our kit is a control board, some instructions, and this template for the drilling that you're going to do. The first thing I'm going to do for this insulation is to remove the side covers on the Tarova. Okay, once I have the side covers removed, the next step here is I'm actually going to tilt the motor if you have it clamped on the front of your boat. This just makes it a little bit easier to get at the cover over the control board. If you don't have the ability to tilt it, that's not a problem. Next, I'm going to depress the tabs on each side of this centerpiece. and I'm going to set that cover aside. Using the number two Phillips, I'm going to remove these screws. And I'll set those aside. Next, if you have the plug for the co-pilot or the autopilot accessories, I'm going to disconnect that. Next, I've got the voltage meter sensor coming in here and the universal sonar ground. Um, if you have these both, you'll disconnect them. Uh, just note, oftentimes this connection will be covered in heat shrink and you'll just need to cut off the old heat shrink and discard that. So here I'll remove the universal sonar connection and the voltage meter ground. And then if you have this double spade piece here, remove that and set this aside. We'll need this for later. Okay, next you can see I've got the coiled trolling motor cord coming in here. I've got my autopilot accessory and universal sonar disconnected if I have those. Um, this is the same cord that would come down for an iPilot type of accessory. I'm going to disconnect the power cord and then the ground for that coming from the head of the trolling motor. As you can see, I've got universal sonar, co-pilot or iPilot, and then the two power and ground coming through that bundle. So I'm going to take this bundle and I'm just going to strap it around the shaft of the trolling motor for convenience. and that will just hold everything out of the way nicely for me. All right, we've got a few more connections to break here. Um, I've got my steering motor connections here. I'm gonna disconnect these from the control board. After I disconnect the steering connections, I'm going to remove the LEDs going from the control board up to the status lights here. Okay. After that, I'm going to disconnect the remaining voltage status connector. As you can see, the, the voltage meter is disconnected. The steering motor is disconnected. I've removed the LED status lights. And if you have this remaining accessory connection, this would go to a co-pilot or other remote on the Makota. I'm just going to remove this here. And I can remove that. 
So now our upper cover can be set aside and all of the electrical connections have been broken with the exception of the power cable. So the power cable running into the motor, I can disconnect the ground and I can disconnect the power like so. Last couple things here, you're going to see I have a white cable here. This is just a position sensor for the deploy mechanism. I'm just going to remove that and set aside. And last but not least, I'm going to remove the clamp. And I can take this clamp and set it aside. This allows me to remove the power cable from the trolling motor temporarily and set aside. And now I can fish the control board foot pedal connection underneath this pin and set aside. Okay, the final step to remove this old control board is to remove the two screws through the side of the motor here. I'm just going to set these aside. Okay. And this is your existing Trova control board. We suggest you just set this aside and hang on to it if you ever need it in the future. The next step is to locate the new control board in the motor base. So to do so, I'm going to set it in here. I'm going to remove the dust cap temporarily and set aside. This will not fit underneath the pin here. And I'm going to slide the foot pedal connector under the release pin, like so. The next step is to drill two holes for the trolling motor control board mounting. Uh, the existing holes here you'll find don't quite line up with the two new holes. So to remedy that, you're going to take the provided template, you're going to slide it in here along the current motor base and as you can see here I've got a spring and a pin that are part of the quick release mechanism. What I'm going to do is I'm going to align this card against the pin as shown. One thing that might actually make this step easier here is to take the quick release bracket on the Makota. I'm going to push the motor release bracket down And as you can see here on the other side, there's a tab on the motor base. I can actually insert a zip tie through the release bracket using the hole on that tab as an anchor point. So again, I'm coming through the slot in the release bracket on the other side of the motor my zip tie and with the release bracket down I'm going to cinch this down like so. What that'll do is that'll give me some clearance underneath the card here and I'm going to drill out the two new holes as indicated here and here. Once I get them started, you can discard our template and continue to drill out the holes until you've got a set of two new holes similar to the existing. Okay, now I'm going to position the tr control board so my mounting holes line up with the two new holes that we drilled in the motor base. And to install it, we're going to replace the two screws that we removed from the Trova control board, we're going to tighten that control board into place like so. Okay, once the control board is tightened in the base, we can begin to reconnect it. Your new control board is going to come with a electrical schematic 
and this diagram here will help you to make the correct connections between your battery and the control board as well as between the trolling motor cables and the control board. So we'll set that aside and the first thing we're going to do is we'll replace the dust cap on our control board here like so. Next I'm going to route the power cable for the trolling motor back underneath the release handle and the pin kind of like so. Once I've got this cable slid through approximately eight inches so it's so the leads are just past the control board end meaning I can reach all the different connections. I'm going to cut the zip tie that we had used here for our drilling procedure. This will allow me to get my clamp piece back in here directly over the power cable and the foot pedal connection. And we'll just get that screw started. And again, that's going to hold our power cable in here. Got that secured, like so. And we'll just tighten down that clamp. And as you can see, I've got that clamp back on now, holding these in place, and the foot pedal connector for this board. I'm going to reconnect my power cable to the new control board. Following the schematic that comes with the control board, I'm going to connect the red, the positive trolling motor cable to this terminal here. And as you can see, I've loosened this up. I took these screws out again just to make it a little bit easier to get everything connected before we position it. Our negative connection right here. Black. Perfect. Okay, next we will fish out the remaining connectors here that need to be made. Bring the housing back in the picture here. So we have a couple more connections that get made now. So the steering motor connections, we're going to go white to white, black to black, like so, for the steering motor. Okay, the red wire here is going to connect up to our voltage meter, like so. Next, we're going to replace the double spade connector here. If you have both universal sonar and also you've got the voltage connection wire here, you'll need this double spade piece to connect them both to our control board ground. Uh, but first, I'm going to slide our heat shrink over top of this ground cable, like so. Attach our double spade. Now we will connect up the voltage meter ground and I'll unbungee the trolling motor cable and bring these connectors back into play. So first things first, we'll take this ground and attach it to the double spade that we were working on. And last but not least, We've got the main connections here. Um, our red connector is going to come in here close to that relay. And our ground, the black wire, is going to come in right here. Like so. That concludes all the connections we're going to make on this control board. So this time I'm going to replace the screws that mount the control board and secure in place using those new holes that we drilled. I've completed my heat shrink here on this and now I'm going to 
replace the motor coil hardware right here. Lastly, I can replace this housing. I'm going to push those tabs in and make sure they're lined up with the locking position inside. Make sure your foot pedal connector and your power cable are coming out this end. And then we will replace the side covers of the motor here. Bring those screws back in. Now that we've got the control board replaced, we're just going to do one final step. If your Trova has either an autopilot accessory or an iPilot accessory in the head of the trolling motor, we do need to remove the old hardware inside the head of the trolling motor so that we don't get any interference with the ProNav Angler system. So I'm going to bring the trolling motor up. If your trolling motor that you're upgrading with ProNav has an autopilot system installed in it already, what we're going to need to do is remove the autopilot system out of the head of the trolling motor. Um, this would include a autopilot, the Minn Kota autopilot, or the Minn Kota iPilot system. To remove that, we're just going to pull the screws, loosening the head cover off of the trolling motor. And this procedure is the same on a Trova as it would be on a power drive motor. Or very similar, I should say. And we'll set the motor head cover aside. If you have a Minn Kota, Trova, or power drive with iPilot, which would be indicated on the head cover here, iPilot. Um, when you flip this over and you're looking inside the head cover of the trolling motor, you're going to see the iPilot accessory connector right here. And you can see this module inside the cover that's held in place by a number of screws. That's the iPilot. So if you have an iPilot installed in a trolling motor, you're going to re need to remove this module right here before you replace the head cover of the trolling motor. Now we're looking inside the head of the trolling motor. The one we're looking at right now is a Tarova. It is similar to a power drive motor. If you have an autopilot compass system installed, this is the piece we're going to be removing right here. There's a fluid filled compass module. It looks like this and essentially we're going to need to pull this out and replace it. You can see here this is the control board for it connected through one of the Minkota connectors. I'm going to break this connection and unplug it. These are a little bit difficult. Okay, and now the rest of this, the control board just snaps right out. Pull this tab up here. There's a tab on the opposite side. And I have now removed the Minkota Autopilot system out of the head. Again, similar to the control board, 
I'm gonna save this in the box of parts just in case I ever need it again. However, you're no longer going to need it for the ProNav Angler GPS system. Finally, we're just going to take a look at the wiring inside of the head of the trolling motor. If you have a universal sonar, this is the cable here for universal sonar, US2 it's called. Um, this should be coiled up around the front post here. And if you have a fish finder cable that you want to connect to, this cable will fall through the uh, opening here and attach to the cable coming off of your sonar unit. Um, this is the autopilot or iPilot accessory plug right here. We no longer need to connect the accessory plug back to any part of this system. Uh, our brown wire right here is a ground wire for the universal sonar. We're just going to make sure that is tucked aside like so. And last but not least, and this is a very, very important step here, is I am going to relocate the red wire, red power wire, over here with the other side and ensure that the red and black wires are twisted together, um, which will eliminate a magnetic field that can be generated by these wires being separated in the head of the motor. Um, this is a common source of interference and performance issues. Um, if you're using the ProNav system and these wires aren't coiled together, that would be a common troubleshooting step that we would walk through with you. So let's just do that right now. I'm going to remove the clip here on the red wire. And as you can see here, this blue sheathing can be slid back. I'm going to disconnect the connection here. And with these disconnected, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to wrap the red wire around the black wire like so and I'm going to reconnect that wire back to itself using that spade and I'll slide the blue insulation sheath back over that I'm going to remove this extra clip in here since we don't need it before I put the cover back on, I'm going to make sure that these two wires are neatly tucked off to one side of the motor here like so. And again folks, this is a really important step. So I've got my red and black wires routed along one side, twisted together. I've got my universal sonar cable over here if you have that. Uh, this may not be installed in all motors. We've also got our iPilot or Autopilot accessory cable here. I'm just going to leave this inside, um, draped inside like so, as well as our universal sonar cable. With everything like you have it seen here, I'm just going to replace the head cover back on. And this motor is now ready to add the ProNav Angler GPS Autopilot system. Okay folks, thanks for watching our video today. If you have any questions, please remember you can always reach us by email at support at pronabmarine.com or call our office anytime. It's 906-523-7007. We can help you out with this installation procedure. And if you're looking to order the upgrade kit for your 12 volt Trovo motor, or if you haven't seen our other YouTube video, link below, we also have an upgrade kit for all of the old legacy power drive trolling motors. And those can be upgraded with the ProNav Angler GPS Autopilot very much in the same fashion as we just did today. So thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you on the water.